Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Taurus. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your cards. Now I am doing a mini reading this week just because between Christmas and New Year it is a little bit hectic as it is for a lot of people <laughs> so I'm sure if it's meant to resonate for you it still will Taurus so I'm going to pull three cards the first card is your challenge second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome and then we'll pull a final card and clarify if we need to so message for Taurus please angel spirits guides what does Taurus need to hear the most for the week please what does Taurus need to hear the most for the week thank you okay your challenge we have the tower sometimes that can be the pandemic for me as a reader as well but it can be an individual life-changing experience oh my goodness though it's with the wheel of fortune meant to be so that's the advice from spirit and we have the two of wands the magician is bottom of the deck Taurus this feels very beautiful very beautiful indeed divine timing is at play that's what the energy is here Taurus some of you have been through it feels a life-changing experience that is the tower energy it's not always easy energy to deal with the tower is the destructor of an area of your life you know it can be an energy of of uh, it's the destruction of the old as well it aligns you to a new path it's the universe god the divine showing you love because as soon as this tower is tested by the universe with that lightning it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time it is time to build a new tower it's time to change embrace change and this square tower this round crown doesn't fit anymore so this is about change and you know this can be to do with your money and career areas can be to do with love romance relationships it could be any area of your life could be across your life I'm going to clarify this let's clarify this tower what is this tower for Taurus please what is this tower for Taurus thank you okay my goodness Taurus it's with the death card a major ending so something has ended I'm going to put one more card what is this tower for Taurus please angel spirits guides okay so I have the two of swords I mean the the death card with with the tower is an ending some kind of ending that's happened here and definitely with this two of swords there's a feeling of or a sense of feeling stuck can sometimes be about waiting for things to become clear you know there's kind of an energy of waiting for the dust to settle here waiting for clarity in order to make decisions and choices but with the two of ones at the end of this reading there's there's a clarity coming in terms of which way you need to go so there's definitely an energy of something has changed in your circumstances deep deep change big change it feels like a life change it definitely is some kind of life-changing event here Taurus but the death card is saying that this will be the making of you because this is the Phoenix rising card this is the old being destroyed and this is rising from the ashes of the old But there is an energy of feeling stuck either not having the full facts of the situation or weighing up you know how you need to move forward not having full clarity yet in terms of how you're going to move forward or how something's going to play out 
So you don't have the clarity, the foresight to make some kind of decision choices. You might still be weighing up your options here, but there's definitely an energy with that death card of it will be your time to rise. This will be the making of you, whether you know it or not. We look back in tower moments in months or years to come, Taurus, and we suddenly realise why things happened the way they did. It was the universe guiding us, you know, aligning us to the path that we need to be on. And we have a wonderful card of alignment here, which, you know, the, the Wheel of Fortune can be that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. Um... As one door closes, another one always opens for you. Things are going to turn in your favour. This is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It's very good in terms of money and career, especially the Wheel of Fortune. Um, brings in opportunity, expansion, linked with um, gifts that the universe wants to bring in. So there's definitely an energy here of, yeah, there has been some challenging energy here. Deep, 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 deep change in your circumstances. And possibly a feeling of being stuck. But things are about to shift. Opportunity is about to open up for you. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. It's also a lovely energy of what this ending what this change has taught you and how you need to adjust maybe how you're viewing something your beliefs beliefs that you held before how they have been adapted and adjusted on how you need to move forward now there's definitely a sense of a period of adjustment here as well But the Two of Wands is definitely an energy of where there has been a feeling of being stuck, lack of clarity. This is somebody who has full clarity. They're making the decision. They're going for what they want. This is the beginnings of progress in a situation. Can also be between choosing between two opportunities, two paths. So, but this person understands what they want and what they don't want here in this situation on how they're going to shape their world for their better going forward. And there's such potential with the two of wands. The wands are sprouting. There's growth. There's potential. This is somebody who is taking charge, making empowered decisions, choices about their future. This is the way I'm going to go because you're ready to manifest. And I love the energy here because, you know, that magician is number one in the Major Arcana. He's the first numbered Major Arcana card. He is somebody who understands how to create that new beginning. This is a new path unfolding for you by your own actions. So it feels for some of you, maybe there's some choice to make here or decision. It can also be about planning what you're doing, planning your future here. And then manifesting using your magic, tapping into your talent, experience, knowledge, with full belief in your capability of changing uh, a negative situation and change it to a positive one. Because the Wheel of Fortune is saying now is that time. Now is the time, maybe things weren't going in your favour, but now they are, or they soon will do. Uh, because the Wheel of Fortune is a great energy of the removal of obstacles. You know? It feels like everything is being aligned for you to work your magic. So now is the time to work your magic, to manifest something, because there's the beginnings of progress in a situation this week. And maybe you're making some clear decisions on, about your future. So it definitely feels like there's great potential, there's great growth. Um, The magician is somebody who focuses intently on what they want to change in their life. And then they put all their resources into making that happen with full belief in their capability that they, they can bring change. So it definitely feels as well that, I mean, there's an energy here, Taurus, of, of th feeling that things are beyond your control and then taking back control in this reading too, you know? The magician understands that, okay, 
I can't control what goes on in my external environment, you know? I don't have the power to control everything that goes on. I can't control people, I can't control wider situations in my life, possibly the pandemic for some of you, but I can control how it affects me in my own internal energy. And when you understand how to master oneself, that's when you're ready to bring change to your external environment. And there is definitely the beginnings of progress here with the Two of Wands. Beginnings of growth. The beginnings of taking control of a situation. So it feels very beautiful. But this is a time to work your magic because everything is lining up for you to bring progress opportunity, good luck, good fortune. Very good in terms of money and career, like I said. Um, in particular, that's definitely what I'm getting with this energy. For some of you, I mean, it could be about life progress. Um, but there's the beginnings of making some serious choices, decisions, timely, obviously, being the new year, um, about how you move forward and bring growth and success long-term to your situation. So it feels very beautiful indeed. Okay. So final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. just shuffle but, oh thank you yeah okay so we have look at this we have fox shadow work there are no shadows without light and then we have bear you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light you know there is a, a change that you are emerging from shadow into the light here Taurus and it feels very very beautiful indeed love the reading um, and definitely maybe making some either planning or some important choices here about your future about what you're going to manifest because there's definitely an energy of the universe now is the time the time is right you know to manifest something I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.